video is on Cauchy's Euler equation and this topic is from linear differential equation with constant quotients. So here an equation of the form x par n d par n plus p1 x par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q of x where this d is equal to the derivative with respect to x d by dx. So in order to transform this Cauchy's Euler equation into the linear equation with constant quotients so we need some substitution so let's get started the substitution is like this in place of x we have to keep e power z and in place of log x we have to take as z see here and again x cube d cube so we have to substitute theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 whereas x square y squares x square d square is replaced by theta into theta minus 1 and x d as theta and here are the few examples here and I am going to solve all these. So according to the Cauchy's Euler equation so the equation is of the form like this. So, x par n d par n, so constant into x par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on, p n of y is equal to q of x. So, this is an example of the Cauchy's Euler equation. Now, in order to solve this, so for the solution, we need a substitution as, so in place of x square d square, I am writing theta into theta minus 1 and in place of x d, I can simply write theta. And here x is equal to e power z and log x is nothing but z. I'll, I'll transform this equation here. In place of x square d square, I can write as theta into theta minus 1 plus 2 times of x d theta minus 20 of y is equal to. In place of x, I have to keep e power z plus 1 whole square. Now, if I multiply this will be theta square minus theta plus 2 theta minus 20 of y is equal to if I expand this one this is a square and this is b square and this is 2 into a b. Now so this is going to be theta square plus theta minus 20 of y is equal to this is e power 2 z plus 1 plus 2 into e power z and now I am going to resolve this one for the solution of this. First of all we need the auxiliary solution for finding the complementary factor, the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. So, in place of theta, I need, I have to write m, that is m square plus m minus 20 is equal to z. See here, 1 into minus 20 is 20 and see, I need 1 here. So, the factors are 5 and 4. So, here there is plus. For bigger number, I am keeping plus and for smaller number, I am keeping minus. So, this plus m can be written as plus 5m minus 4m minus 20 is equal to 0. So if I take m common here, this is m plus 5. If I take minus common, this is m plus 5 again. So again, if I take m plus 5 common from this, so m plus 5 common, this will be m minus 4 is equal to 0. So the factors here are minus 5 and 4. Therefore, yc can be written as a c1 e power minus 5z and this is c2 e power plus 4z as you know that. So, we have a substitution that x is equal to e power z. So, x is nothing but e power z. So, if I again replace this one yc is equal to c1 in place of e power z I am writing x, x power minus 5 and c2 x power e power z is x and this will be power 4. And this is a complementary factor. So, coming to the particular integral, yp is equal to 1 by theta square plus theta minus 20. See here, this is theta square plus theta minus 20 into, so these all things we have to write, that is e power 2z plus 1 plus 2 into e power z. <coughs> See here, now I am splitting yp as 1 by this is theta square plus theta minus 20 into e power 2z plus again 1 by theta square plus theta minus 20 into 1 plus 1 by this is theta square plus theta minus 20 2 into e power z. Now what is our substitution here? So in place of theta for the first one we have to 
write the coefficient of z here so which is equal to 2 so in place of theta so we can write this as e power 0 theta and in place of theta i am keeping 0 so here in place of theta the coefficient of z is 1 so i am replacing with 1 see here the substitution so yp will be so in place of theta if i 2 if i keep 2 so 2 square this is 4 this is 2 minus 20 e power 2 z and in place of theta if i keep 0 so this is minus 20 and in place of theta if i keep 1 here see what happens 2 into e power z so here our yp value is equal to so this is going to be so this is 6 so this is minus 1 by 14 e power 2z and this is minus 1 by 20 and see here so this is going to become so this is plus 2 and here this is minus 18 so this is minus 18 here into so this 2 already I have written that is e power z so again we have x is equal to so in place of x so we have to keep e power z so if I replace this one see what happens yp will be minus 1 by 14 this is x square this is minus 1 by 20 and this goes in 9 times that is x e power z is nothing but x by 9 so this is the b part so this is the complementary factor and this is the particular integral therefore the general solution is equal to yc plus yp so i am clubbing these two y is equal to c1 x power minus 5 c2 x power 4 and this is minus e power so sorry in terms of x i have to write this is x square by 14 and this is minus 20 and this is x by 9 and this is the final answer see here and this is how we have to solve so first of all the complementary factor and then the particular integral and the next question here i am going to solve is see here this is x square d square plus 2 x t minus 20 is equal to x plus log x and here also the same thing so in place of x square d square so we have to write see here in place of x square d square we have to write theta into theta minus 1 so in place of x t we have to keep theta so x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z so here is the substitution and in this substitution we have to transform this equation theta square x square d square can be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 plus 2 into what is xd xd is nothing but theta minus 20 of y is equal to in place of x i have to write e power z and in place of log x i am writing z here see so this will be theta square minus theta plus 2 theta minus 20 of y is equal to this is e power z by z. So this will be theta square plus theta minus 20 of y is equal to this is e power z by z. And as you know this is minus 20. The factors here are 5 and 4. So here there is a positive sign. So I am for giving positive for bigger number and negative for smaller number so this will be theta square plus 5 theta minus 4 theta minus 20 is equal to 0 the auxiliary equation as you know this is f of m is equal to 0 so this will be m square plus m minus 20 is equal to 0 see here in place of theta we have to write m and then solve this one so i am writing that is m square plus 5 m minus 4m minus 20 is equal to 0. So, if I take m common, this will be m plus 5. If I take 4 common, this will be m plus 5. So, if I take m plus 5 common from these two, this will be m minus 4 is equal to 0. So, here the roots are minus 5 for one time and plus 4 for another time. Therefore, yc can be written as See here, yc is equal to c1 e power 5z plus c2 e power 4z and this value will be, see here, if I transform it, so e power z, x is equal to e power z. So, this is the substitution we made and again we are transforming in terms of x, yc is equal to c1. 
e power z is nothing but x. So this will be x power minus 5 and this will be x power 4 and this is equation number 1 and which is nothing but the complementary factor. And coming to particular integral y p is equal to 1 by see here theta square plus theta minus 20. So this can be written as theta square plus theta minus 20 into e power z plus z. So this is e power z plus z. See here. So yp is equal to, I am splitting this one. This is theta square plus theta minus 20 into e power z. And again theta square plus theta minus 20 into z. So here there is a substitution. So in place of theta we have to keep 1. And we have to take to the numerator and then expand. So yp is equal to, this is nothing but 1 plus 1 minus 20 into e power z. And here if I take minus 20 common, this will be 1 minus theta square plus theta by 20. So if I multiply, this is minus 20. If I multiply again, minus into minus plus. If I cancel this one, theta square plus theta will come back. See here. So this is nothing but 2 minus 20. So, which is nothing but minus 18 e power z and this is minus 20. If I take to the numerator, this will be minus theta square plus theta by 20 whole inverse of z. See here. So, yp value will be minus 1 by 18 e power z minus 1 by 20. So, the further expansion, this is minus of minus. So, this will be theta square plus theta by 20 into z. See here, theta is nothing but the derivative. So, this is e power z. This is minus 20. If I multiply, this will be theta. So, the second derivative, the second derivative of z is z, 0. And here, only um, this one remains 0. And this one, what is this? The derivative of z is 1 by 20. 20 remains. So, this is yp is equal to minus 1 by 18 e power z. If I multiply, so this will be see here, minus 1 by 20, this is z plus this one is 1 by 20. 1 by 20. So, again if I replace the same thing, x is equal to e power z and again log x is equal to z. So, if I replace, then see what happens, yc is equal to Sorry, here yp is equal to minus 1 by 18x. So, in place of e power z, I have to write x. And this is 1 by 20. In place of z, I have to keep log x. Log x plus 1 by 20. And this is b. So, our general solution will be c. Our general solution I am writing yc plus yp. Our general solution will be, as you know, y is equal to yc plus yp. So, y is equal to, what is yc here? See, look at this one. That is c1 x power minus 5, c2 x power 4 and uh, this is minus 1 by 18. So, this is 4 minus 1 by 20. This is log x plus 1 by 20 and this is how we have to solve. And the next question here is, see here, the next question here is x square d square minus 2xd plus 2 of y is equal to x plus e power x. So, this is also of same pattern. x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 and xd is equal to theta. And here x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z. So, if I transform this equation x square d square as theta into theta minus 1 and again 2 theta plus 2 of y is equal to in place of x we have to write e power z and in place of x again we have to write e power z. So, if I multiply this will be theta square minus theta minus 2 theta plus 2 of y is equal to e power z. If I bring to the numerator this will be minus z and see here theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 of y is equal to this is e power z plus e power minus z and see here. So, first of all we have to make a complementary factor with this. So, this the auxiliary equation here is f of m is equal to 0. So, which is nothing but m square, see here, that is minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. And see, the factors here will be for 2. So, this can be written as 
minus 2m minus m plus 2 is equal to 0. So, m if I take common, m minus 2. If I take minus common, this will be m minus 2. If I take m minus 2 common, this will be m minus 1 is equal to 0. So, m values are 1 comma 2 and therefore, our yc can be written as c1 e power z and c2 e power 2z. As you know that e power z is equal to x and yc is equal to. So, our yc value will be c1 x plus c2 x square and this is equation number a. And the next one coming to yp, see here yp 1 by, see here theta square minus 3 theta plus 2. So, this is theta square minus theta plus 2 into this one q is nothing but e power z plus e power minus z. So, yp value will be 1 by theta square minus theta plus 2 into e power z plus 1 by theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 into e power minus z. So, here in place of theta we have to write 1 and in place of theta we have to write minus 1. See here yp value will be 1 by 1 minus 3 plus 2 into e power z and here minus 1 square is again plus 1. So, if I keep minus 1 here, minus of minus plus 3, plus 2, e power minus z. And see here, this is plus 3 and minus 3 got cancelled. So, then what we have to do? So, again we have to keep 1 z and we have to make a derivative for this. For theta square, this will be 2 theta and for theta it is 1, this is minus 3, e power z. And this is going to become 6, 1 by 6, e power minus z. So, again we have to keep theta is equal to 1 in this place. And see here, yp value will be z by 2 minus 3 e power z plus 1 by 6 e power minus z. So, yp value will be minus z. So, this is minus 1. So, minus z e power z plus 1 by 6 e power minus z. As we have a substitution here, so in place of x, we wrote e power z. And again we are transforming in terms of x here. So, this will be, see here, our yp value will be, so again z is equal to, what is z here? So, z is equal to, this is log x. So, in place of z, I have to write log x and e power z is nothing but x. This is 1 by 6 x inverse. And now, our general solution will be, see here, our general solution will show you general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. So, this is equation number b. Now, we have to write the two equations. What is yc? yc is nothing but c1x. See here, c1x plus c2x square. And this one is nothing but minus x log x. And this is x inverse, which is nothing but 1 by 6x. And this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching. Please go through these videos if you really understand. Please practice and definitely you can solve, solve by your own. And if you really like this video, you know what to do. Please share it on to your friends.